Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Melinda Zosh. First at five, the recovery in Kentucky continues after recent deadly tornadoes. He says 69 West Virginians have died from coronavirus since last week. Justice also expressed concern about hospitals and health care workers being overwhelmed this holiday season. Training to save lives, communities in southern West Virginia are providing naloxone coaching sessions in areas hard hit by the opioid crisis. Six local counties, Mercer, Wyoming, McDowell, Raleigh, Summers and Monroe are planning to take part. Our Glenn Kittle is live from the Shell gas station in Bluefield, Virginia to tell us more. And Glenn, I have two questions for you. First, how much higher are gas prices this year compared to last year? My second question is what is the average price of gas per gallon right now? And Adam, why do you think this training is so crucial to help people who might be in an active shooter situation? I know you touched on an anecdote from someone in Texas who helped save some lives by getting them into a safe area. Can you touch more on that, why this training can make a difference? Can you elaborate a little bit more on, on the importance of making that, I guess, a split second decision of what you should do? So our first question tonight, are there things people can do to survive a mass shooting? And if so, what are they? This morning, we're talking about a very important topic. Is America in danger of losing its soul? In fact, this was an op-ed published earlier this month in the Courier Journal. That covers news in Louisville, Kentucky and Southern Indiana. So Dr. Brogdon, we'll start with you this morning. Your op-ed alludes to President Biden mentioning that he was fighting for the soul of America. And we heard that quite a bit during his campaign. You touch on various issues plaguing this country in your op-ed from economic disparities to racial injustices and more. But can you elaborate more on the issues that are impacting America right now? We start today with local COVID news. This just in, the first known case of the UK coronavirus variant has been identified here in Southern West Virginia. And we'll also look at the situation in the present and then we'll look ahead to the future, to life after the pandemic. Yeah, I sure have, Martin, and I'm sure many of us have. And the prices at the pump have been climbing for a while, but more recently, They've taken near double digit hikes upward. Two men are charged with assaulting a U.S. Capitol Police officer who later died. One of them is from West Virginia. The Olympics are officially underway, kicking off with the opening ceremony in Tokyo. However, outside of the stadium, COVID-19 concerns are lingering. And back in our area in Virginia, there's new mass guidance for schools. We'll tell you what this means for Tazewell County Schools and your student. And the sounds and smells of Cajun country are filling the air in Mercer County tonight. We'll have a live look at the forecast from Princeton coming up. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Melinda Zosh. We'll get to those stories in just a moment. But first, the Tazewell County Sheriff's Office is investigating a shooting that took place early this morning. They now have a suspect in custody. That suspect is this man, 36-year-old David Curtis Witt. WVBA is helping to answer your questions about small business. Joining us today is the executive director of the Development Authority of Mercer County, John O'Neill. John, as always, thank you for being here. It's great to be with you. And John, as I mentioned earlier, Governor Jim Justice made an announcement Wednesday about unemployment numbers in the state. So please give us the details. The New River Gorge Regional Development Authority is hoping to lead the charge on a six state initiative to pull millions of dollars into the region's outdoor economy. West Virginia's surrounding states are part of the $500,000 grant proposal for the U.S. Department of Commerce's Build Back Better Regional Challenge. And speaking of the Cajun crawl, Chief Meteorologist Katherine Thompson is getting in on all the Louisiana style fun in Princeton right now. She joins us live from Mercer Street with more on the forecast. Welcome back everyone. There's an educational opportunity coming up where you can bring your family out to the Tazewell County Fairgrounds and learn all about goats. Joining me now to shed some light on this event coming up tomorrow is April Wilson and Sherry Reese. So thank you both for joining us today. And if you are planning on coming out here to the State Fair, Hopefully you'll take cover for a little bit before it clears up. Anyway, besides the fair food and the rides out here, at least when the weather's nice, you can hop on the rides. Another staple at the State Fair of West Virginia are all the animals here. Let's check in now with Chief Meteorologist Katherine Thompson, who has a first look at the current conditions. And Katherine, how soon can we expect these changes and what are they? Coming up, the smell of shrimp and crawdads is filling the air in downtown Princeton. And soon the sounds of Louisiana will too. But first, Chief Meteorologist Katherine Thompson soaking up the sun on Mercer Street. She'll be back with a live look at the forecast next. 